I won't give up if you don't give up. Ah, my heart! Hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Butterfly Soup! So, in the last episode, Dia and Min finally kissed and they pretty much admit their feelings to one another with the help of Akarsha and Noelle in the background. Um, and even though it ended up breaking the table, I, I still can't believe that they got to kiss! I'm so happy, it was so cute! So, let's see how Butterfly Soup ends this time. Can't believe we're banned from Snowcastle now! I can't believe Min broke their table! No choice. You could have held off on making out for 10 seconds and walked around it! Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking the pani from the buffet! Shut up! Yeah, shut your fuck up! Shut your fuck up. I hate you all, I'm going home. Okay, see you in practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay. Change my mind then. You have approximately 10 seconds. Friendship is like peeing on yourself. Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. I mean, sure, that's a good metaphor, Garsha. What the fuck? Goodbye. No! What were you expecting after you nasty freak ho? Pee girl again? Meaty! You- you dumb elf! What?! Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're so cute, I love them. You know how during metamorphosis, inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns into soup? It melts into this disgusting muddle of goo slushy. Everyone is a mess when they're growing up. Some people are just better at hiding it than others. It's okay to be flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents wanted you to be. It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be butterfly soup first. If you think about it like that, we're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Just keep going. Keep trying and eventually you'll find people who like you for the weird fuck- for the weird fuck up that you are. You deserve to be happy. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Ah, my heart! <laughs> And if alligator attacks you, go for the- go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she said that line. That- <laughs> the not giving up. I have trivia like that too. If you're going to- if you're walking on the sidewalk and you see a car coming towards you, instead of moving forward or backwards, go directly left or right towards the nearest obstacle you see. Why left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too little time to judge the car's direction. Being directly perpendicular to how you're facing is the best bet. I was looking up on how to survive if a car drives into as as a pedestrian. I already told you, I'll just hit that car out of the way. This turned into some random advice session. End of conversation, otherwise you'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now, bye. Hey! <laughs> And that's the ending for Butterfly Soup! I know I should have included this in the last uh, video, but there was something I wanted to talk about. Um, since it is- I'm uploading this in June, and it is Pride Month, so happy Pride to all my fellow LGBTQ plus people. Um, I just- I just wanted to kind of talk about this a little bit. Um, since I said earlier, Butterfly Soup is like one of the only games that- are kind of like one of a kind. There's not many games that represents the entirety of what it is to be a queer person. I really miss high school. <laughs> um, oh, whoa, what's happening? I thought it was done. Okay, I'll hold off my speech for later. Oh, they're buying dogs together and they're together. Oh my god, they're dating. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry. Look how tiny Min is. So which one do you want? Don't know. Which dog which dog friend do you want, Shibi? Oh, they named the dog Shibi! <laughs> I'm so happy. Hearing his name, Shibi turns brightly to Dia, tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat makes a crinkle sound against Min's arms as he wags his tail. He's too nice. He likes all of them. Dia peers down at the Pomeranian in the enclosure. This one reminds me of you! How? Small, but she thinks she's invincible. Harry, it's a charm point. I love you for that. Dia picks up the little Pomeranian size and gazes it, um, and gazes into her black soulless eyes. <laughs> Your name is Palm. That was the other name she uh, had a uh, idea for. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna die. 
Oh my god! So they ended up together, and then they ended up getting dogs together. So I heard uh, a lot from the comments. You guys told me that the creator is gonna create another uh, game for Butterfly Soup, a sequel. So can't wait for whenever that comes out. But what I was trying to say earlier, um, this is like a one of a one of a kind game. There's not many that are like it, and I think it's really important to have games or at least media that represents the LGBTQ plus um, community because there's not many that represent us properly and I will say it's getting better now because there's a lot more games movies TV shows that are you know introducing these characters introducing these storylines these relationships these themes it's just that I felt like the reason why I love butterfly soup so much is because it was like one of the first games where nothing terrible happened to a queer person it was just like all happy happiness and uh, and how real it was because I was able to relate to all the characters and um, you can see how um, each of the each of the characters dealt with uh, their queerness and how uh, they decided like oh I don't care or I'm gonna, I'm gonna be myself. The one who really struggled with it was uh, Dia because she wasn't sh she didn't understand like am I a lesbian or what's going on. Um, but I I really like that this game explored that and then not only that this game represented a lot of uh, the Asian communities and like what we feel as uh, queer people and being as someone who is both. It was so... I was so surprised when they were just like, Hey, uh, here we go! We're just gonna introduce all these characters who are queer, but they're also Asian Asian characters. And um, I, I got really happy when I found Adia was uh, Sri Lankan too, because like I'm Sri Lankan and I'm like, Whoa, that's never happened! Like I've never had a video game character where I could relate to who was like the same ethnicity as me. Um, that's never happened to me before because, like I said in the previous video, people some people think like, real Asians are if you're Japanese, you're Korean, or you're Chinese. They don't count the other Asians that are, you know, Asian! So, um, I got really happy about that. And, um, you know, relating to another character who is very angry and who has to deal with, like, very strict parents, like, I totally get all of it, and it was so wonderful to see, and I noticed that a lot of people in the comments were just saying, I relate to this too, and even if you're not Asian, I know a lot of, like, different parents will do deal with the same thing, like, they do the same thing to their children, and, um, I just, I just wanted to say, like, if you are, you know, a queer person, and you have already come out, and if you're dealing with, like, similar things we've seen here, where some of the parents get violent towards their children, especially, let's say, example, Min, when she was like, I don't want to marry a man, I don't want to have a husband, I don't want to have kids, and they got mad at her. I don't know if she, later on in the future, told them that she was a um, non-binary person, but regardless, I could tell, like, their, their her parents would, like, have a very negative reaction to it. But I just, I just wanted to say, like, if you do have not a nice relationship with the people you came out to. I just want to say I'm very sorry that happened and hopefully in time they will come to understand you and I know it's not going to be like something very easy and I, I've said this many many times before um, people who usually get mad at uh, people people who react that way will get mad is because um, they don't understand it and I hope in time eventually they will understand and come to support you because if they do love you they will support you in the end and it may take time and it may hurt right now but I, I really genuinely hope that in the future they will come to understand you and hopefully you you'll be able to explain it to them in a way where they get it and they're like okay I, I support you for this and um, to those who haven't come out yet, it's okay. Um, I always see like people saying, oh, I have to come out, I have to tell my parents, I have to tell my friends. You don't have to tell anyone. I just want to reiterate that because people feel like, oh, I have to come out and say it. And it should be a norm, if I'm being honest. Like, straight people can just be like, hey, I'm straight and it's fine. But if you come out as a queer person, oh no, you're a devil. <laughs> um, but I just want to say, if you haven't come out yet, it's completely okay because you don't have to feel like you have to. I feel like revealing your sexuality shouldn't be like a, a thing you should pass on to people. It shouldn't be like automatic thing you should pass on to. It should be a thing that you decide if you want to pass on to someone else. So you don't have to ever, you know, in, in your entire life, you don't have to tell anyone. But if you are ready I and you have like a support system or you're, if you feel safe to come out, just try it. Try to do it. If you feel like it's the time you can come out, that means it's the time you, you'll come out. And, um, I just, 
I just hope you all enjoyed my Let's Play of Butterfly Soup. I really enjoyed this game a lot, and reading all the comments of like how you guys related to the characters and what they said is really cool to see, just because when I was growing up there wasn't many like queer people I knew, because um... I don't I don't mean for this to turn into like a like a like a story or anything, but I just I just wanted to say when I was their age, Butterfly Soup's age when they're in ninth grade, like I didn't know that I liked girls too. Cause I didn't know I was bi. I just thought, oh, girls are really pretty, and I didn't know what bisexual meant, so I was just like, I'm not gay, but I like dudes too, so it doesn't make any sense. And um I was brought up in an Asian family and then brought up in a Catholic school, so that made it even worse. <laughs> But um, uh, yeah, I, I just I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just know it's okay if you don't figure it out right away, especially if people are confused about like what you are. I always read comments about that too. They're like, I'm not sure if I'm bi, I'm not sure if I'm gay or I'm pan or whatever. Um, you don't have to f figure it out now. I only figured it out when I was like, I think 22 or 23. So it wasn't that long ago that I figured out that I was bi. So um... It will take time. Some people will figure out right away, like when they're ninth grade, like these these characters, or they'll figure out when they're thirty, and it's okay. It doesn't matter when. It's just a matter of you grow as a person, and you will have time for yourself to understand yourself and understand like where you want to be in life. And um, also, if you say you're one thing and you change later on, that's okay too, because you're still figuring out yourself. Your queerness is valid. I just want to say that it's okay. Because, like, people always feel like you have to have, like, a label. And if you don't want a label, then you don't need a label. Um, I, I just think that's really important because people always feel like they need to, like, know, like, what you are. And it's not really the case like that. So, just wanted to tell you guys that. And, um, yeah. So, this marks the end of this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and comment down below what you guys thought of Butterfly Soup. And hopefully Butterfly Soup 2 will come out soon. Whenever that is, I will definitely play it for the channel. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next video series. And I don't know what it is. But if you guys have any recommendations for any uh, LGBTQ plus games, let me know in the comments. And I'll try to take a look at it so I can bring more in the channel. Because I really need more games that like this. I haven't played that many. So, if you guys know any, let me know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! What do you want to stop? No, uh, you know I'm gonna tell the truth. I have a gun. Drop it. Okay. No okay. I'm okay, I really didn't expect the cat to have be Mike Wazowski all of a sudden. <laughs> you gave me this cat. I loved him and you had it.